In this video, we are going to learn how to play the addition game Memory 10. The purpose is for learners to practice finding numbers that make up 10. What we need is one pack of playing cards to play this game. Right, let's get started. From your pack, separate out two sets of ace to nine. In this instance, we have chosen to separate out the cards from ace to nine in the suit of spades, and we then discard 10 to king, and we have decided to choose diamonds, where we separate out cards ace to nine, and can then discard the remainder of the pack. We now have 18 cards. This game can be played with two to four players. In this instance, we have two players, learner one and learner two. Take the 18 cards, and mix them up and lay them down in front of you. Now, learners one and two must choose a card from the pile. Whoever gets the highest number will start the game. This is learner one. Learner one now shuffles the cards and lays them out into a grid of six by three. Right, let's go. Learner one will play first. Learner one turns over the first card, which is a seven, and now selects another card, which is a nine. Does that equal 10? No. Seven plus nine is equal to, yes, 16. Now, because learner one did not get it correct, it is learner two's turn. Learner two turns over three and now remembers where the matching card is to make a bond of 10. Well done, learner two. Now the seven plus three will give the learner two the first pair to set aside. Because learner two made a bond of 10, they receive a bonus turn. In this instance, they turn over five and next to it is a four. That does not make 10. What does four plus five equal? Correct, it equals nine. Now it is learner one's turn again. Learner one turns over a two. Can they match this with an eight? No, they can't. They get a three. Two plus three is equal to? Five. Yes, it is not a bond of 10. Now it is player two's turn yet again. Player two turns up an eight. Can they find the matching two? Yes, player two remembers where the two is and can make a bond of 10. As we know, eight plus two is a bond of 10. They set aside uh, that pair of cards and now lead the game to nil. Learner two can now play again. Learner two selects the next card, which is an eight. Can they find the two? No, not in this instance. They find a nine. Now we can add up nine plus eight. What does that give us? Yes, 17, well done. It is now learner one's turn yet again. Learner one selects a four. Can they find the matching six? No, they found an eight. Now we can calculate four plus eight. That equals 12. Now it is learner two's turn yet again. Learner two selects a four. Can they find a six? No. They have found a two. Two plus four is equal to, yes, six. Now learner one can have another turn. Learner one turns up the two and knows where the eight is. Well done, learner one. 
they have made a bond of 10, as we know that 2 plus 8 is equal to 10. And the score is now 2-1 to learner 2. Learner 1 now has another turn. What can they do this time? They turn up a 9 and take a guess and get the ace. Well done, learner 1. Learner 1 takes the 9 plus 1, which we know is equal to 10, and sets it aside. It is now 2 all in the game. Learner 1 has another turn. Can they get ahead? Learner 1 selects a 6 and is now looking for a 4. No, Learner 1, that is a 3. 3 plus 6 we know equals? Correct, equals 9. Now is the turn for Learner 2. They select a 4 and they probably should remember where the 6 is. Yes, they do. Learner 2 manages to find the 6 and the 4 and we know they are friends and make up a bond of 10. Learner 2 now has 3 points to 2 points for Learner 1. Learner 2 can now play again. Learner 2 selects a 4. Can they find a 6? Yes, they can. Well done, Learner 2. As we know, 6 plus 4 is equal to 10. So they can set aside that pair as well and now lead by 4 points to 2. Learner 2 now has another turn. Can they extend their lead? Learner 2 picks up a 5 and manages to find another 5. Well done, Learner 2. Learner 2 has the twins of 5 and they equal 10. Learner 2 now sets aside those cards. They now lead by 5 points to 2. Learner 2 can make a clean sweep, opens up and finds an ace. Can they find the matching 9? No, that is a 3, not a 9. And 3 plus 1 equals? Yes, it equals 4. Now, can Learner 1 make up some ground? Yes, they remember with the 7 there is a 3 and they get a bond of 10. Learner 1 can now set aside the 7 plus 3 pair and they have now scored 3 points to the 5 points of Learner 2. Now it is Learner 1's chance to get the last pair and it is easy. They can get the 9 plus 1 which we know is a bond of 10. Our game is now over. And the winner is Learner 2. 5 against 4. Well done, Learner 2. Learner 2 wins the game of Memory 10 and is our Timka champion. If you enjoyed the game, please visit our website www.timka.org or check out our YouTube channel Timka Global. Thanks for watching.